एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Can orthographic projections be converted into an isometric view? Is it possible? Yes, it is. And in this video, we'll convert uh, an isometric view uh, into an orthographic drawing. Welcome to X Chand Academy. I am Anmol Bhatia, and in today's lecture, we'll be talking about conversion of isometric view. into orthographic view if you want to understand the concepts deeply you can refer to the book by s chan publishing uh, the link of the book is there in the description box below so let us start with the video so this is lecture number 15 of the series uh, engineering graphics and drawing and in this lecture we'll be understanding the concept on how to convert or isometric view into an orthographic view generally what we have we have a 3d image of any object and we want that 3d object to be converted into a 2d image so that the worker understands it easily and the object can be manufactured easily without any hassles before beginning the topic let me tell you that this is the last module of the course and this is the last lecture of the course and in this lecture we would be covering uh, the conversion of isometric view into the orthographic view before beginning the concept let us have a clarity on uh, how to convert and what are the basic sciences behind the conversion let's say we have an object which is a 3d object and we have certain views which is the front the top and the side how do we interpret or how do we check that this is front view this is top or this is side generally what happens uh, there is a shortcut or there is a trick front view is always connected with side view so if you see side view and then this part which is the connecting part this would be the front view of the same and above that is the top view so but in majority of the situations you will find above front view and below the top view so there is a confusion in the students mind so in today's video this confusion would be clarified see what happens uh, we'll keep this object inside a box and we'll look for certain views uh, there would be six different views that can be formed of this object let's say this is the front part this is the top part and in the bottom you have another view here you have another view on this side you have another view so on specifically if i describe so this object which is an isometric view can have the front view it can have the bottom view it can have the top view similarly it can have the side views also so how do we interpret we we just open this box uh in in this manner so that different views occurs like this so when we open that box what do we get we'll get the front view we'll get the top we'll get the bottom we'll get the right side view we'll get the left side view and also the back view so these are the six views that we'll get by unfolding the box so that this view is clearly visible but majorly we cannot we uh generally don't see this bottom view or the back view in in majority of the drawings unless and until stated or unless and until your part is really complex we don't make these kind of views so what do we make or what is the science behind keeping the front view above or the top view above so the science behind is the angles of projections so majorly uh by the starting of this course we have talked about majorly two angles of projections one is the first angle projection and another is the third angle projection so in majority of the european countries including india we follow this first angle projection and what happens in this we keep the object in first quadrant 
by keeping the object in first quadrant the front view appears above and i have told you the shortcut or the trick that the side view is always connected with the front view so this is the side view and on the other side you again have the side view and below that you have the top view there correct but here this one is the right side and appearance is the left side view and on the other part you can see the right side view so the nomenclature is different in case of side views for the first angle projection so here you can see that the objects are placed in the first quadrant or you name it as a first angle projection in case of uh, the other part which is the third angle projection you keep the object in the third quadrant so the object would be there in the third quadrant and majorly for the country like united states they use this as their standard for representing the orthographic views and we keep the objects in the third quadrant here the front view is below the top view so you have the top view here and then you have the front view below the top view and similarly the side views appears on the adjacent part of the front view only the right side view appears on the right here and the left side view appears on the left on the other side of this front view so this is the general nomenclature that we follow so what i told i told that when we keep the isometric uh, view or a 3d object inside a box then it would have the six different phases or six different planes on which the images can be projected and when we open that completely uh, then we'll have six different views of the same namely front top right side view the left side view the bottom view or the back view so we have all the views together but still the question is not answered that what kind of view would generally be used as a part of industrial practice so most commonly what we use most commonly we use these three we generally use front view we use top view and we use the right side view generally so here if i talk about the third angle projection so what do we have here we have the top view because it is uh, the object is placed in third quadrant so we keep the top view above this xy line and front view is below the xy line and the right side view appears on the right only but if i keep the object in first quadrant and i am working in india so for that uh, reason i need to keep this front view above exactly below it i need to keep the top view and the right side view appears on the left of the same so generally we need to use three views or additionally we if the object is complex we can use the left side view also so with this we come to the end of the first part of the video in which the basic concepts of orthographic projections have been covered in the next part of the video what we will do we will cover a uh, an example which would be complex in nature and student finds a difficulty in conversion of the isometric view into the orthographic view so we'll consider that example and we'll uh, correlate these concepts that we have learned in the next part of the video if you want to learn the concepts in detail you can refer to the book by s chan publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below if you find the video interesting like share subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates thank you all rights reserved this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder